Good morning everybody, welcome to the show, the 2016 Bosra MSA GT3 Championship really hots up, it's round number 5 here at Mount Panorama, one of the most feared circuits on the calendar. Today's show is brought to you by our partners Synology and Seagate and the new Iron Wolf NAS drives provided by Seagate, so be sure to check out our partners website to find out more about them. Don't forget you can also hit us up on our social media accounts, let us know what you think of the championship, the videos, maybe who's going to take the overall victory. So on to this week's grid and it is a newcomer in Paul. Craig Parks, one of the team Bushfink Racing drivers, is in first, followed by last week's race winner Ben Hackerson for Seagate in second. Third on the grid is Tony Bird for Acom Printing, and then it's Dion Phillips and Barry Bird next. Paul Wormsley's had a fantastic start to the championship in sixth. Neil Bamber's seventh for Seagate, followed by Al McCain for Motorsport Auctions. Simon Underhill returns in ninth for Synology, and Jason Dilworth in tenth for Acom Printing. Only 26 cars on the grid this week, there's no Soltel, he serves out his one race ban for rage quitting, and there's no championship leader Daniel Turk either. But in 11th it is Van Delden for Motorsport Auctions, followed by Gawenicke for Bowden Solutions, Ryan Walker's in 13th for the first of the 56 cars, Phil Gregory sits 14th ahead of myself Chris Butchall in 15th, Paul Martin a privateer in 16th, and it's Daniel Honeysmith followed by Mark Woodhouse and Jan Mosva. Rolf Just sits in 20th. 21st is another privateer, Daniel Bailey, and then it's Fabian Cloth and Simon Jackson. Marion Bradshaw for 56 and 24th, and then it's David Rowland and Jonathan Beresford, the last of the cars on the grid this week. So that is it, that is the grid walk all done. All eyes, I'm sure, will be on Craig Parts to see how he gets on his first race with Bozra. Enjoy all the action. The commentary team this week is Jason Dilworth, and he is joined by Simon Underhill. Thank you, Chris. Great grid walk, and here we are at the start line of Zoldo for what is bound to be an exciting race. I've got Simon Underhill with me. Hi, Simon. We're ready to go, yeah? Hi, Hi yes, Jason. Let's just go. Real. Straight off. And uh, looks like a great start from Paul Wormsley there. Yeah, Paul Wormsley taking the outside line around with Dion uh, to the first corner. Um, it's like Dion slightly pushing him off onto the grass there. Yeah, it um, looks like a touch with him and Dion was there there. Yeah. Possibly, but Dion, sorry, Paul obviously kept control and is uh, fighting still for the position. Absolutely. And which one of the Bar brothers was that earlier on? Uh, that's Tony up front, isn't it? Yep, this is yourself. Just uh, going around the outside of Neil Bamber into turn two. Uh, up the hill, just following Paul into um, the, the cluster. Ah, so this is the start again on board with Paul by the looks of it. Yep. Perhaps you get a better uh, view of what happened between the odd now since Paul goes to the outside, the on the inside for the first corner. As yeah, you can see, got Barry there as well. Um, but then, yeah, absolute touch does really well to keep it in something like a straight line. And sounds like Barry coming back round the right hand side, which he does. So, unfortunately, all that great start um, or the great getaway ruined, unfortunately. Here we are at the back of the grid. Yeah, just keep an eye on uh, Rolf Just and Daniel Bailey. Oh. Uh, Jan Malezova getting a jump start there, which you'd have to take the penalty a bit later on in the race. Yeah. But uh, just keep an eye on Dan Bailey. Just cuts oh, across dear. the front of Rolf Just, um, and there's a bit of an incident there. That's a real shame. Um, but there we go. Hopefully both of them learn a little something from that. It's difficult for Rolf to really learn anything there, I guess. Kind of stay in a straight line. Yeah, probably two guys that are on single monitors instead of triples. Triples obviously helps. This is myself following uh, Paul Walmsley. Um, got the move on Neil Bambi. Um, just trying to keep up with Paul this around the, the great, hill. Great, great camera angle. Oh, what's yeah, happening there? On the inside there? of Tony. Tony went a little bit wide. Um, so it's nice to step in front of Tony. Uh, now we're going down Conrad straight towards the chase. Um, as you can see, trying to keep the get, get behind Paul, get the toe but also kept, keep the defensive line so Tony doesn't uh, shoot up the inside. Down to a hard braking zone after this uh, flat right here. Really tough braking zone. Yeah, and this is where I make a mistake. So I'm running currently oh, in... Clip the curb. Six. Just clip the curb and sent me sideways. Luckily didn't hit the barrier and managed to regain um, race around about, I think it was 14th. Good stuff. This is, on board uh, with Matty Van Delden, chasing down uh, Alan McCain now around the around the hill. Yeah, uh, I remember this scary moment. This was uh, second lap, I think. Alan hitting the wall, Matty just missing him, and I I promise, I think my car was as close. <laughs> Properly scary on the second. Now. Yeah, absolutely uh, scary moment. But luckily, Alan managed to not hit or collect anyone else on the way through. Where we are, we have. 
Dion now uh, chasing down Barry, one of our front leaders in the championship for acorn racing. And now Barry uh, just, just spin that a lot of people do corner. here at Bathurst on the last corner. Yeah, clipping the inside kerb really tough. Uh, and it's, it's really hard to turn the car around here. I mean, I know I had the same problem with Plato in the race, and you can see he uh, just collects uh, Mark Woodhouse. But it is a five, if not a 20 point turn to try and get the car turned around on this circuit. Yeah, I, um, I generally stop whip the traction control down to one, hit the clutch, give it a boat full of revs and you can kind of spin it on the spot, but yeah, you have so to get used Craig, to it. Here's Craig lead the race, he's actually five seconds lead by lap two here. <laughs> yeah, uh, crazy pace the whole way through, qualifying, uh, practice before that as well, he's got this circuit absolutely sussed. Um, one of the privateers, new entry, this is his second round with us, so really good to see someone really competitive up the front as well. Here yeah, we have yeah. Honey Smith and Fabian Cloth. Honey Smith making the drag down the uh, main straight, hopefully keeps the position. This is that flat right we were talking about and the left hander that you had your that one incident on. Yeah, and it's a good overtaking, a good overtaking call on that is, and uh, I know a lot of um, my overtakes I did personally did there. Yeah, he's done a good job, Honey Smith, getting in there. So here's uh, Chris after his grid walk, giving us a nice view of the back of the Bowdoin Solutions car of uh, yeah. Phil Gregory. So this is lap four. Just just, just take a look at who, who passes here now. So Chris just backing off slightly, uh, Phil, because he's seen who's behind him. And there goes Craig <laughs> already. By lap, lap four. four. And these guys are in 19th and 20th, so he's already uh, overtaken a few cars before that as well. Yeah, Chris managed to just uh, pop his car in front of Phil's as well in, in the same manoeuvre. So, yeah, good uh, manoeuvre by Chris. Yeah, really uh, taking advantage of a situation as it presented itself. And this is a battle for second place, which basically was all the race. It was uh, Ben Ackerson, Dion and Paul Walmsley all together, and it did last a lot of the races. did really good uh, competitiveness and uh, respect for each other as well, these, these three. Yeah, th three great privateers here. The privateers absolutely showing uh, some of the team members how it's done on this race. Top four, all privateers, and as you say, really good um, close, respectful racing going on here between these three. I'm really impressed with Dion as well. Um, I just wish he'd put a paint on his car. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's a bit plain, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So here we have the, the only McLaren in the championship at the moment, which is Mark Wood, uh, Woodhouse. Uh, and I believe he clocked the fastest speed of the whole race in the McLaren. They are quick down the straight and... Uh, yeah, I think this is the highest up I've seen him in a race as well, 11th. So a really strong start to the race. This is lap 8. Um, yeah, obviously a circuit that suits the McLaren. Yeah, it's a, it's a long straight. Oh, just as we're talking of that, he's uh, taken a bit of an excursion, but that doesn't look like that will hurt him too much. No, it just outbreaks him himself, back. Funny. Yeah. Not too bad at all. So what else have we got going on here? I see... Oh, we're back, back to, to second, these three. Great. Yeah, back to second um, second place battle. Yep, still as close as they were. This is now lap 10. Paul's dropped back, if anything, a little bit. And Dion's going for the move into the right-hander. Very brave. Very brave, brave, brave move. Ben Eckerson, oh. Eckerson taking, going wide and losing two places. Yep, yeah, Paul's just been taking advantage of another situation, just like Chris did earlier. So Ben will be no doubt kicking himself after letting the second of those places go. Not much he could have done about Dion, but um, probably feels he should have shut the door on Paul. Yeah, so, we have um, Pete, yeah. Uh, sorry, Paul Martin and uh, Mr. Glenarchy, uh, just followed by, I'm not sure who that is in the... It's Ryan, picture. isn't it? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's not. It's, it's obviously a lap car, is it? 21st, yeah, so unfortunately we don't have that data right now. I can't tell from helmets just yet. But Martin, just trying to make the inside um, overtake on... Paul, oh. but fortunately Paul hitting the side of Martin and, and looks like there's not any damage enough or enough to take the cars out but um, again it's just awareness around you what's going on around you yeah it's a shame is that another touch as they went as Martin cut through there but if it was then they got away with it um, yeah it's tough racing close we don't really get much practice of it it's still early on in the championship I'm sure that those sort of incidents will become less frequent anyway but ultimately a good move by uh, Martin and we need to focus on that. Talking so, about frequent, this is a frequent battle. 
Mr. Yeah. Bamber and Mr. Van Delden. And this, this, I know this happened all race. As you can see, Mr. Bamber in front and Mr. Van Delden just taking the, again, oh, the inside yeah. line from that corner. Excellent manoeuvre. Yeah, hooked it up really well through the mid part of the corner. That was, seems to be where that got oh, done. Oh, the corner. <laughs> yeah, just the wall. The there. <laughs> These walls are so close when you're driving around the track. Um, uh, this is easily my least favourite track, I think, for that reason. Um, it takes no, so much concentration. Yeah, absolutely. It's great when you get in the flow, but there's just so much risk involved with going fast here. So, here we go. Uh, Chris, right in the thick of it again. Is that you on the uh, left hand side? No, Roland in the Synology um, Audi. Dave yep. sticking to his line on the inside. Chris just trying to get the outside line around the corner. But uh, yep. Dave and the Audi a little bit quicker on straight line speed. They're racing for position, so all completely fair. Dave getting in the mix, which is great to see. If Chris gets a toe behind Dave here and knocks it up the inside, let's wait and see. Seems a long way back to me, especially with the Audi straight line speed, but let's see how it goes. Dave has braked really quite early and gone a bit wide. Yeah. This Chris could... again up the right hand side. <laughs> this is this Yeah. Is heart in mouth this. moment. Oh, Dave's again sticking to his line. Oh, oh he's oh it. He's it gone. He's gone. Oh. And the collected Chris as well. Luckily, ah. Chris getting away with that and can carry on as well. Unfortunate for Dave there. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Really good close racing. Uh, but Chris just pressuring Dave into a mistake there. Here we go. Paul and Dion again. Paul sending it down the inside of this left right combo. Can he keep it around the outside of the right hander though? He does. Which will give him the preferential line into the last corner. Dion oh, will it? Switch back. <laughs> oh, good move by You're Dion, so, but so uh, does a great job to get it slowed down. Brilliant work. Lap 13 now we're on. Long yeah, laps. Back. Paul Walmsley, one of the fastest Mercedes on the championship. Yes, do, doing a great job. Tony, uh, so Tony yeah. Bard here, 10th position, had a bit of a struggle. As, uh, Just oh. gets it wrong over the skyline and into the S's and puts it into the barrier. That's a real shame. Um, the Acorn team in, oh dear, oh, and he's collecting. Chris Trill, I think, at the same time. Yeah, is it Chris? Yeah, I think it is. Um, the Acorn team had a an absolute dog of a race. Just trying to drive it back to the pits now, as you can see. Very difficult. Very yeah. uh, not a lot of control there at all. I just think he just pulls off to the, oh, go off the racing line here, but unfortunately spins again. Yeah, yeah, that's a real shame. Uh, Woodhouse doing a great job to not to be collected as well. So yeah, that's himself and Dave and Synology team. Dave and no over rev down that straight there, which allowed me to pass him. But uh, again, you know, total respect for each other, uh, especially being teammates. One of the first rules of being in a team is <laughs> yeah. to take your teammates out. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, and it, he's probably got a decent drag down this straight though, but uh, I'm sure we'll be respectful and stay behind you, which is why we haven't stayed with it. Here's Alan <laughs> McCain with his early, um, well, his recovery from his early issue on lap one. Yeah, currently running 14th, just sat behind Jan Malazeva in 13th and managed to get Malazeva. the it Was it what? Malaziva? I think it was. Uh, he, he let us know on the forum how to pronounce it, so I oh, just want to correct you and get that right. Malaziva. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Malaziva, even. Um, so there's Chris taking his uh, mandatory pit stop. This is lap 19. Craig, even. Craig, I've done it again. Sorry, well, if you notice, Craig. There's, there's 50 seconds in front of you. You know, that's half a lap. Yeah. I, I, I can't concentrate on anything but getting his name wrong again. <laughs> Never mind, <laughs> on we go. <laughs> so we've got Dion who'd uh, pitted uh, myself in front of him on a recovery drive. I was saving fuel massively here, not that anyone wants to know how my race was going. Um, didn't put up any fight. Dion was much quicker, so it was best to just let him go. Um, I was on a, a completely different race at this moment after a crash and trying to save three laps worth of fuel. Dion having an absolutely great race, seventh after his pit stop with people in front of him yet to pit. Alan McCain from Motorsport Auctions, he's just following uh, the privateer of Mark Woodhouse just around the year, oh, wow, we know, around Sullivan Park I think it is. Um, just got heading towards the top of the hill, so it's a really close race in here and it is a battle for petition, battle for 12. Uh, Alan up, up the gearbox of uh, Mark's car now. 
just going for the inside line. This is really <laughs> brave. Yeah, super brave through there. It's hard enough to keep it on the track when you're on your own around that section. So very brave and uh, very mature of Mark to be getting out of the way. Ultimately, Alan had more pace there and Mark's on for a really good result for him here. Yeah, the best one so far, I think, this championship. It's on to Rolf just in the uh, STP Mercedes. Um, just going around the top of uh, Skyline into the S's. Looking good, yeah, I hope he manages to keep it looking good, yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, dear, that's uh, a shame to see. He's doing the honest I think, there, and uh, in, uh, head into the, uh, into the barrier. Yeah, I think he was being lapped there by one of the Barb brothers, so uh, probably lost a bit of concentration. Now, here's a guy that did well. This is a guy who's having a connection problem, a graphic problem, and started from the pits. So nearly a lap down. Oh. And look, he's in 14th position, just touched the barrier. Really had a really good race. Yeah, he's obviously pushing hard, like you say. Saw that he uh, started from the pits and he's done a great job to get up that far. Here we go, uh, Ryan again. Walker. <laughs> On Ryan Walker, they are getting a lot of exposure this week. Yeah. Yeah, imagine if he had a nice paint on the car. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, overtaking the uh, 56 car of Ryan Walker there, who I know was out of sync as well, I think, on the pit stops. Dion pitted right. super early, I think. Yeah. Paul's Walmsley, so basically he's second, 30 seconds behind the leader here. Um, another good race for Paul, I believe, um, especially a good result at the end. Yeah, he's doing great. This is lap 27, so we're definitely approaching the end. Um, yeah, third spot, Ben Ackerson. Just a little bit of damage on his car, but uh, again, another good race for Ben. Good, good track for the, for the Mercedes, this one. Yeah, and I think it was just consistency of those drivers really gave them um, the, the race results that they had. No one seemed to be setting absolutely blistering pace, and that's, that's definitely the tactic around here. Back with the leader, Craig Parks. Faultless race, faultless drive, and I think this is him crossing the line, and this is his last lap, I think it is. Yeah, absolutely. So here we go with Craig uh, finishing an absolute lights to flag victory. I don't even think he lost a place when he was in the pits, so absolutely faultless, and uh, I'm sure probably yeah. got the fastest lap as well, so he'll get that bonus point. Congratulations absolutely. to Craig and to Paul and to Ben for top three some really good driving Neil and Matt Van Delden as well some close driving and I know I think it was a pit stop that uh, gave that result for Neil yeah that I heard over the radio during the race that he was trying to save some fuel I think so uh, he'd obviously elected to have a bit less to give him that gap to Matt and it seemed to work out for him so there you go you can see the results there uh, audience you see that obviously Craig hit the win with uh, Paul Wormsley Ben Hackerson completing the podium Neil Bamba, Matty Van Delden following up in 4th and 5th. Dion Phillips at that great drive at 6th. Ryan Walker, I think, gets the highest position for a 56 car so far in the championship in 7th. Martin Galenicki, 8th. Alan McCain for motorsport auctions in 9th. Mark Woodhouse scraping into the top 10 there. Great result for him. Yeah, something so, to look out for there. Is the, the, the Bard brothers, the, the Bard twins, not so well this race. It, what definitely a race for them to forget, especially when the top of the chip, well, up at the top of the championship as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that brings us to the team standings where, uh, with the, the difficult race that Acorn Printing had at Seagate, have closed that gap massively to 16 points. So you can see uh, Ben's actually extended his lead on the uh, non-competing this week, Daniel Twerk, and uh, Paul Wormsley actually tying for that second position as well. You can see the rest of the results there. And uh, that was a really exciting race from uh, Mount Panorama. It was. What well, was a circus I enjoy, uh, even though I didn't finish that well, but uh, looking forward to going there again. Second time we've visited Australia now. Um, and I think Zolder next, is it? It most definitely is. So Zolder on uh, the Tuesday after the release of this video. And you can see the details there. So round six will be from Zolder. Practices on Monday. I know some people are streaming that, myself included. Um, the race will also be going out live on the Tuesday. Uh, so hit yep. subscribe. Uh, we'll bring yep. out the highlights video again last week. Uh, so Big thanks to the sponsors as well. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you very much to the sponsors. And uh, thanks to you, Simon, for joining me for the commentary on this. Thank you. Bro. See you all next week. Thanks for watching.